You threw your hands up in the air. You're clearly having a moment of exasperation, like kind of finally. Walk us through that moment of like finally seeing one go down, the feeling that you have, and then that just catching fire after that. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, um, it's been a little bit of a struggle. Um, so uh, everybody was just telling me, like, stay confident, keep shooting. Um, and they were just trusting me. And so um, it's good to reward that trust in, in my teammates or for my teammates. And then um, after that, I was just trying to keep making shots. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, just try to stay in the moment uh, and help us win any way I could. So um, I mean, it was obviously a struggle most of the game, but um, it's good to make that one, but really just do whatever it takes to help us win that game. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's, it's a struggle. Obviously, it was, it was on your mind, because if it wasn't, you wouldn't have had that reaction. How hard is it to kind of get through that and, and to keep shooting? Like, there are a lot of people that might not have even shot that shot. And, you know, is that, is that a shot you would have taken maybe like two, three, four years ago? Probably not. Um, I mean, everybody was just telling me to stay confident, so um, they trusted me, so why not trust myself? Um, so really, shout out to the team, coaching staff, everybody, um, to give me that confidence that um, you know, I was due. I mean, I try to give people that confidence when they're struggling, and um, they were able to pick me up today. And how how important is it for you guys to have, you know, struggling through a lot of the game, uh, missing shots, not just you, but just in general, um, to to kind of get that stretch there at the end of the fourth to get this win, you, you've only lost two in a row once now, 10 and one after a loss. Like how, how is that, how, how important was that to kind of get that a, after this last game? Yeah, um, I mean, especially like how we started the game. Maybe some people were, were thinking like, oh, here it goes again. Um, but we were able to um, just come together, um, bring that joy, um, the excitement that we've been playing with most of that year. And um, you know, obviously we lost last game. And so you want to have that, the heightened awareness of let, let's not lose two in a row. Um, I think we've done a, a really good job of that uh, all year. So um, when things are going bad, we got to stick together. And we did that today and um, picked up on each other, each other and we were able to grind out a dub. Derek, what's the process of kind of working yourself through a slump? Do you look at a lot of more video, less video? I'm sure everybody's calling with some advice. Oh, your release is too like. What's that like? when you're struggling and you don't kind of know or pinpoint the issue? Yeah, um, you just got to go back to the basics, um, stuff that you've been doing your whole life. Um, I mean, me personally, I was just focusing on staying in my shot and uh, getting the arc. So uh, those are the two things that I was trying to focus on most of the game. And um, I was able to, to see one go down and go, go from there. So um, just go back to the basics, stay in your shot. Hold your follow through, simple things like that, and um, it's good to see him going. Joe said after the game he talked to you about confidence and just kind of maintaining that. What's that process like not to get too down on yourself? He thinks you have that ultimate confidence because you keep playing, you keep defending, but he said like you kind of told him, hey, thanks for having confidence in me. Yeah, um, I mean, he, he was talking to me, especially after the game, is like, don't feel sorry for yourself. Um, like, you're too good of a player to be doing that, and um, I mean, I. I try to affect the game other ways from not just scoring, but uh, like I just got to have the energy, the the things like that to, to help us win games, whether I'm making shots or not. And um, I don't think I was doing that for most of the game. So um, especially that fourth quarter, I was like, we just, just help us win. Like make shots, miss shots, just help us win. Derek, you are so good in the clutch though. Do, do you kind of, in those moments or late in those late in games, get out of your head so you're not thinking so much and body memory just takes over? Uh, I mean, I want to say I wasn't in my head, um, but uh, I think a lot of times, especially in the games, like JB, JT, they get a lot lot more attention, um, just a heightened awareness of let's not let those two beat us. And, I mean, they're doing a great job of um, drawing a double, kicking out. I think like two or, or all of my threes were basically because of them. Um, so um, everybody – has a high end awareness of JB, JT, and um, they're doing a good job of, of finding me or, and our teammates. Of, and then we got to be ready to knock it down when it's, when it's our time. How good did that one feel when it went down? 
it felt great. Um, obviously, we were making a little bit of a run too, so um, big momentum uh, change, and so um, it felt great to, to finally get one down and uh, try to chip away at that lead to, to get back in it. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.